Hello, Quad Flying Fun here. And today, what I wanted to talk about, um, I talked about this earlier in the uh, summer, what I was going to do with my uh, WL Toys V686G here that I've uh, highly modified. Um, I bought this uh, Quantum headgear set, you can see right here, from uh, Hobby King. And then I took the uh, WL Toys monitor and uh, mounted it in here. Now this has, this particular headset comes with its own uh, video screen. So actually I've got two of these now. But the one that comes with it doesn't have a receiver in it. You have to buy your receiver, your battery, and all that stuff separately um, to use it with it. But I really didn't plan on using it that way um, anyways. And what I did here, you can see, let me get my head tip down here. I just took the WL Toys monitor that, you know, all the uh, all the, these quadcopters, you see them, you, you mount them to the uh, top of the uh, transmitter, but it's, it's marginal at best uh, as far as its performance, because if you go out on a day where there's any sun, like today, where it's sunny out, you can't see the monitor at all, even with the uh, little anti-glare screen that uh, WL Toys includes with the kit. Um, you can't really see the screen very well. I mean, I flew some FPV with it a little bit and uh, played around, and uh, it was okay. But it just wasn't what I was looking for as far as the immersion, what they call the immersion experience. And I wanted to get a uh, some headgear like this and uh, do this. Now, this particular unit here, like I said, I bought it from Hobby King. It's not real expensive. Um, about 60 bucks, which is actually pretty good considering that it comes with what you see here, you get this outside um, headpiece here that's made out of foam, and uh, got the uh, and it straps right to your head. You can see use these straps are fully adjustable, and then the uh, you get inside here. You can see there's a lens. You look down in here. There's a lens in here that you can move either forward or back to focus the screen for your eyes when you uh, when you put it on. And uh, but for the price, it's uh, it's a pretty good unit. And uh, like I said, I just added some Velcro. I put it together, it just goes down in here, and then I added some Velcro to my monitor here and just attached it right to the end of it. And this goes over it. You can see this is the attachment point for the uh, transmitter here sticking out the bottom, which I won't use anymore. I just turn it up like that. But uh, I'm getting ready to use it for the first time. And uh, I'll, uh, I'll include... Uh, I can't uh, video while I've got this on, so I'll, I'm going to turn the camera off, and uh, I'll uh, when I get done, I'll put the uh, at the end and where the uh, credits are supposed to go. I'll talk a little bit about how it performed and uh, what I did with this, or how it worked out, because I think it's going to work out pretty well. I don't know how well I'm going to be able to fly with it, but uh, I think this is going to work uh, fairly well for me. Now, as for my quadcopter, um, I talked about this. I had another video. That I talked about. Um, I did extensive modification to this guy. I'm actually running on uh, 7.4 volts now. It has a JJRC um, HHC uh, receiver board in here. I took out the original receiver board because it was 3.7 volts and uh, I replaced all the motors. If you do this you have to go up to the uh, JJRC HHC motors um, which they're not expensive. All the stuff to do this with you could easily I think uh, the battery, um, I think the board is about 12 bucks, and I think four motors was $11. I mean, it's not very expensive at all to do this conversion on this thing. I really like doing it. Now, the only drawback is the way I'm powering it, um, I came off my battery. You know, this is, I've got a 7.4 volt battery down in here, and uh, I came off of it. And uh, actually, it's these two wires right here, the red one and this inside black wire, you get uh, 3.7 volts because you're right in the middle of the battery. That's how the balance, it's, this is a balance charger plug. That's what it's for, but it, it uh, works well for this too. I just put a plug on the camera to match this plug and uh, works out really well. I mean, it powers this camera extremely well. The only drawback so far is, is that I don't have any way to turn, I can't record onto the camera. I'm going to fix that. There's a, there's a port here that I can do it with, but you can see the WL Toy stuff come with a, a four pin micro plug. And uh, this is a three pin on here. So I can't really, uh, I can't turn the camera on and off just yet. I'm going to fix it. I'm going to get a, 
a plug that will fit this and I'll figure out how to wire it up. It's not, it's not hard. Um, whatever all that does when you, when you uh, start and stop a camera, it just pulls to ground. The transmitter just basically sends a signal to the board and it just pulls it to ground momentarily and that's what turns it on and off. So I'll get that taken care of at a later time, but, uh, and actually this quad is flying really well like this. Um, I've had flights with this thing. The only thing I've noticed is the LVC doesn't come on like it should now. And, uh, but I've had flights without, with, in the stripped down mode with no camera and no landing gear attached. I mean, I flew this for 22 minutes. It was unbelievable how long it stayed in the air. Now that takes the battery down to about 6.6 .6 volts, which is a little on the low side. I don't like running them down that far. So I think with the camera on it, I'm going to limit my flight time to say 12 to 13 minutes. So that'll keep the battery from getting pulled down so far, but it really, really works well like this. So if anybody out there is thinking about doing that, I did another video on uh, all this stuff, and I've got the links included in that video if you want to convert one of these over to 7.4 volts. Well worth the time and the money to do it. So um, that's all I got for now. Um, I'm, like I said, I'm going to go into a flight here. I wish I could record it, but I can't because my camera's up here on the bill of my hat, and i got to take it off to put my uh, FPV gear on. But like I said, I'll definitely uh, talk about it at the end of the uh, video and let you know how things worked out. So until the next time, see ya. Bye.